President Trump has a warning for America's allies. He is once again hinting at a radical change in the way the U.S. supports NATO. Correspondent Kevin Cork has more on that from the White House. Germany is paying 1% of a much smaller GDP. We're paying close to 4% of a much larger GDP. So I think we should pay the same as Germany. To the denizens of the Palmetto State, it was music to the ears. President Trump talking tough about NATO, calling out Germany for what he says is its lack of financial commitment to the alliance and suggesting now may be the time for the U.S. to pull the purse strings. It's all wonderful and we like to help out, but it helps them. They're in Europe. The president's critique that members aren't doing enough to fund their own security is not new. He slammed the alliance on Twitter, warning that change is coming. A message sharply delivered to NATO defense ministers in Brussels and received loud and clear at the White House. More and more allies uh, are at 2% uh, uh, of GDP uh, for uh, defense. But I also agree that we have to do more. NATO has 29 member states, but only eight countries, including the U.S., spend the agreed to 2% of GDP on on NATO. In fact, at 3.5% of its GDP, the U.S. accounts for 22% of NATO's total budget. Many of America's largest partners, like Germany, fall well short, prompting the president's threat to match their spending levels. Senior administration officials say the president's rhetorical pressure isn't likely to be backed up with immediate policy changes, but the risk for the alliance is all too real, particularly for European capitals who've watched warily as Russia invaded Ukraine and annexed Crimea. In 2018, when the numbers are finished, we'll have the largest increase in defense spending by our NATO countries outside of the United States since the Cold War. The rhetorical pressure by the president is seen by some as a proxy issue for what he considers unfair European trade practices, something which will get a great deal of attention at next month's NATO summit in Brussels. Brett? Kevin Cork at the White House. Kevin, thank you.